Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. Uh, and today we're gonna be doing a versus video between the Nike PG5 and the Nike Zoom Freak 2. So there's only a $10 price difference between both of these shoes. The PG5 is going for 110 bucks and then the Zoom Freak 2 is going for 120 bucks. But depending on the colorway, there's some colorways going for 120 bucks for the PG5 and some colorways going for 130 bucks for the Zoom Freak 2 for some reason. But anyways, if you guys do want to cop either of these shoes, we'll leave a link in the description box. Uh, let's get it started off with the Tractiones, right? So the PG5 was really good. Like the traction and the stop was phenomenal. And also a lot of you guys are reporting, shout out to the Soul Squad by the way, uh, that the PG5 has really good traction on an indoor court as well. So that's good, but the PG5 has terrible durability. And some of you guys also said it has terrible durability on an indoor court, which is insane. So um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you have terrible durability on the indoor court, but I mean, I played on the outdoor court and it's just freaking, it's, it's all worn out, it's crazy. So uh, do not play with this shoe outdoors at all ever. Uh, the Zoom Freak 2 on the other hand has way better durability and uh, it's actually really good. So if you're playing on outdoor court, you should be fine. If you're playing on indoor court, you don't even have to worry about durability. The stop was really good. Uh, for me on the outdoor court, it was really good. It was very consistent, but some of you guys have reported that uh, it's not the best on a dusty setting. So uh, just watch out for that. Uh, but I'm taking your guys' word for it. I actually asked you guys. So I guess take that with a grain of salt for an indoor court. So what's the overall better shoe? I mean, obviously it all depends on where you play. Uh, if you're playing on an indoor court, I mean, probably the PG5 is going to be better. If you're playing on an outdoor court, or I guess both indoor and outdoors, uh, the Zoom Freak 2 is going to be better. If you're playing on the indoor court and it's clean, both of these shoes will be good. All right, moving on to the heel to toe transition. They're both pretty damn nice. Uh, the, the, the PG5 is a little bit flatter, I would say. Actually, no, it's not interesting. Oh yeah, yeah the curve is actually pretty much the same. So uh, in the heel, we got a nice curve shape here in the forefoot is pretty much the same. And there is a lot of forefoot flex in both of the shoes. Heel to toe transition, they're both uh, pretty damn smooth. I would say I like the PG5 a little bit better, just a tiny bit better here in the heel because there is a good amount more heel compression as compared to the Zoom Freak 2. And I guess moving on to the cushioning setup, the PG5 is way better. <laughs> so you're lower to the ground, you have the full length air strobo unit, uh, it's the air dot weld strobo or whatever, but it's basically the air strobo unit. And uh, it's softer, it's more comfortable, impact protection is better, and there is way more compression from the foam as well here in the heel. The Zoom Freak 2, the heel is pretty much ass. I mean, there, there's a little bit of compression, but it's not nearly as nice as the PG5. I mean, the, the zoom unit in the forefoot is pretty nice, um, but that doesn't really beat a full length air struggle unit. So, so there's that. Uh, moving on to the materials. The materials, okay, so on foot, they both get the job done. They're both very thin and all that. I would say uh, the Zoom Freak 2 feels a little bit better on foot because it feels a little bit softer, but the PG5 is still kind of nice. As far as the, <laughs> the quality goes though, the PG5 materials is just absolute trash. Like they should be using this material on like an $80 shoe, you know, like the Precisions. But uh, like, I guess $110 is still pretty damn cheap. But I mean, come on guys, for a signature shoe, a signature athlete, you're gonna use this material, you know? So uh, in every single way for quality, the Zoom Freak 2 is way better. It's just way softer. I, I would say it's just as thin. Uh, but it just feels better, you know? And the, here in the tongue, uh, the PG5 has uh, uh, an average amount of padding. The Zoom Freak 2 has a lot of padding and it's an oversized tongue. So that feels really nice and cozy. Uh, here in the ankle area, they both have pretty minimal padding. So I would pretty much tie it up there. So the further materials, obviously the Zoom Freak 2 is better. Although the Zoom Freak 2 doesn't have like the best quality materials. All right, moving on to the fit. I went true to size for the Zoom Freak 2 and I went up half a size for the PG5. Uh, so it runs a little short, uh, so just watch out for that. The Zoom Freak 2, I mean, they both fit me very, very well. I would say the Zoom Freak 2 is a little bit more snug here in the toe box. The PG5 is a little bit more loose. So if you like to have a looser fit, go with the PG5, but they're both pretty similar. And also they're both uh, slightly narrow. So for me personally, I would say the Zoom Freak 2 fits me just a tiny bit better although the PG5 is still pretty damn nice. They're both easy to put on as well. I mean, the PG5 has a crazy high heel tab. 
Uh, the Zoom Freak 2 has a heel tab as well, so they're both really easy to slip on like a little sock and also really easy to lace up. Uh, as far as the uh, lateral containment goes, lateral containment is really good in both of the shoes. You know, uh, you guys can see clearly that they both have lateral counters. So the PG5, you have the foam coming up here in the forefoot as well as here in the heel. For the Zoom Freak 2, you got uh, like these plastic things, you know, this plastic thing here in the forefoot, and then you have the midsole coming up as well as an internal TPU heel counter here in the heel. So lateral containment, I was good for both of these shoes. Uh, which one is wider? Let's see. I would say both of these shoes are around the same width. They both have uh, outriggers as well. So both of them were good for lateral stability and I didn't experience any heel slippage in both of the shoes. So uh, supporting lockdown, they're both really good for me. All right, moving on to the weight. The Zoom Freak 2 is coming in at 11.5 ounces, which is extremely light. But I, I feel like the PG5, it was a little bit lighter, you know? So 10.79 ounces. So the PG5 is almost a full ounce lighter than the Zoom Freak 2. And does it feel lighter? Yeah, it definitely does. The foam feels a little bit like a lighter density foam. And then the upper is also super minimal. So uh, the, the PG5 definitely feels a little bit lighter and a little bit more minimal, but the Zoom Freak 2 also feels very light. You know, it's not like this is heavy or anything. And I would say also the PG5 almost feels borderline like a uh, cheap light just almost there not completely cheap light but uh it, it's borderline so uh the zoom freak 2 feels a little bit better on foot just like not as cheap you know all right moving on to the ventilation both of them both of them are good they both allow a little bit of airflow and the, like i said the materials are super thin so it doesn't really retain heat that well so your feet are going to be pretty cool in both of these shoes um, as far as the aesthetics go, yeah, definitely the Zoom Freak 2. The Zoom Freak 2 looks way better than the PG5. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of this shoe, man. Doesn't really look that good. I mean, there are some okay colorways, but uh, in my opinion, the Zoom Freak 2 looks way better. So wrapping things up, which one performs better? <laughs> it's a little bit of a toss up, right? So it, I feel like it depends on what you want from your shoe, right? So if you want the better cushioned shoe, obviously the PG5 is way better. Attraction, they're both good. I just watch out for the durability of the PG5. Uh, materials, I mean, on foot, like I said, they both get the job done and all that. So I guess the main thing is like the cushion and then I guess the durability of the shoe. Everything else is pretty much the same. I mean, the quality is, of the material is a little bit better here in the Zoom Freak 2, but at, like, like I said, performance, uh, they're both good on foot. So uh, for me personally, I would say I like the PG5 a little bit better, especially since I'm playing on outdoor court, but also it sucks because the durability is terrible on outdoor court. <laughs> so uh, for me, uh, they're both like not the best options and uh, it'll probably be the same for you guys. So obviously pick uh, which category is more important to you and see which shoe won in each category and pick whatever shoe uh, you wanna get according to that. So anyways, that's my versus video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.